Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Nathan Fry Outdoors. If you've been shooting archery or hunting archery for any length of time, one of the things that you may have come across that is a potential problem is how to get your arrows cut to the right length. Oftentimes if you buy arrows, especially if you're buying them online from places like Amazon or even places like Cabela's, uh, this particular arrow is an arrow that my dad shoots. It's a Cabela's Carbon Hunter that we ordered on Cabela's website for him uh, for Christmas and we got it and of course it's full 31 inches long. Now my dad does not have a particularly long draw length, so he does not need a 31 inch arrow. As a matter of fact, he can probably cut at least five inches off of this arrow and it's gonna work a lot better for him. Now you may ask, why would you wanna cut off part of your arrow? Well, there's several reasons. Number one is a weight savings. Depending on what overall weight you want of your arrow and depending what the weight already is, you may find that cutting a couple inches off, if it suits your draw length, saves you a little bit of weight and gets you some faster speeds. The second reason, and the one that for me is really a big deal when I'm hunting, is that if I have a 30 inch axle to axle bow, and I've got long arrows like this in my quiver, most of the time the ends of the arrow are gonna be hanging off the ends of my bow somewhere. When I'm walking through the woods, they're catching on leaves and sticks and twigs and whatever else and pulling arrows out of my quiver, and it's a mess. You're, depending on how you pull your bow up into a tree stand with a rope, they can end up getting caught on a branch or something if you don't have a real clear way to pull it up. And so I really like shooting arrows that are properly fitted to my bow, saves me a little bit of weight, and makes my whole bow package when I'm carrying it through the woods a lot more compact and a lot easier to carry. Now some places, if you buy arrows from them, will cut them, but this is just another alternative way that I found to cut my arrows. And the way that I found was based upon some other YouTube videos, and I kind of made it after my own design. And this is my arrow cutting saw. And it's based on using a Dremel. And in this particular case, I used this tool, which I would normally call a pencil tool or something for a Dremel. But what you would do is you would take the front of this Dremel off and you have to make sure that your particular Dremel, especially if it's not Dremel brand, but that your Dremel and your pencil tool work together. But in this case, I've got ones that do. And what it does is then I've got a cutoff wheel on this pencil tool that's gonna cut my arrows. I have this slide up here. I cut a slot with the router and on the back side, I notched a groove. And so I've got a bolt with a washer. The washer sits in that groove. And this piece here can slide up and down freely. And that is how I adjust the length of my arrow. I've got these two um, yardsticks that I've glued onto the front and the top. This one does not run the full length. The one on the front here does run the full length. And this zero mark down here is in line with my blade. So my length is going to be whatever, wherever the edge of this board is. Now one thing I want to point out is that most times, especially if you go to a shop and they say they've cut your arrow to a certain length, they're going to be measuring from the valley of the knock, the exact place where your string sits. So when you put this arrow down in here and you put it up against this board back here, the thing that you need to keep in mind is you may be adding some extra length for your knock. If you're trying to match exactly what your other arrows are, you just need to make sure that you're measuring exactly the same way. So if I know that I'm shooting a 31 inch arrow or say a 28 inch arrow, that's normally measured the way people normally say that is measured from the valley of the knock. And so in order to get that same 28 inch arrow, I would probably have to set my guide here to about 28 and a quarter inches. I also have this full length one down here so you can double check to the valley of the knock and things like that. All right, so the way this works is I've got these two pieces of wood that are at right angles. I use a framing square to make sure that they're perfectly square to each other or perfectly straight with each other. And you take your arrow and you push it up against this board for your length, and then you push it up against these two square pieces and then up against your blade. Now, the one thing that I wanna point out is this blade, though I've tried to make it square, may not be perfectly square. So in order to get a straight cut, I offset this blade back this direction a little bit. And what that means is it's only cutting a little bit of this side of the arrow. And as I push it in there and it starts cutting, I rotate my arrow like this until it has cut all the way around. And that gives me a nice square cut. Guys, this is something that you could certainly build for yourself at home. If you've got some scrap wood laying around, it's very simple. You could make this mostly with hand tools. Uh, you may not be able to cut this notch out down here, but you could screw this board on instead of having a, a, a knob and a sliding mechanism. You could screw it on if you're just cutting one length or you could um, just clamp it on. There's many different ways. You could have movable screws or pegs. There's all kinds of ways that you could do this. 
Also, if you don't have a Dremel tool, for me, I was fortunate my brother-in-law had this pencil tool sitting around that he said he would give to me. And so it's permanently affixed onto my arrow saw and I can just take the Dremel off and use it. Uh, but you can get a Dremel tool for about $10, sometimes $20 at Harbor Freight. And one of the options that you have is just go ahead and attach the Dremel straight to your arrow saw instead of using the pencil tool. This is something that you can do and it's a fun way to be involved in archery and cut your own arrows and not have somebody else doing it. And it also can save you money, especially if you're doing a lot of arrows or have several people in your family who are shooters. Uh, you can just cut all your own arrows and adjust and cut the length as need be. It also gives you the ability to experiment a little bit if you want to play with things and find out what works the best for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take the time to build something like this and if you do, let me know how it worked out. Don't be like that guy up there trying to use a hacksaw, alright? And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors.